Before I start this story, I just want to say DO IT! JUST DO IT! Well, if you've been following me for a while, you'll probably know me as the guy who is always lifting weights in the gym and posting shirtless photos. But also, if you've known me for quite a while, you would know that I always didn't look like this. I started from somewhere I was very skinny. So let's go back to four years ago. Okay, so four years ago, I was a very skinny, wimpy, small kid. I wasn't really a kid. I didn't have any confidence. I had low self-esteem and it really did affect me a lot, a lot, like a whole lot. You know what I mean? So you know what? I decided to change it. I decided that I'm gonna change the way I look. I'm gonna make myself more happier, more healthier. So I started my fitness journey. And in this case, when I say fitness, I really mean the gym. Because the thing is, you know, before I started going to the gym, I've always been into fitness. I've been a sports guy, I've played a lot of sports. I've always also sort of done home workouts. Um, I mean, I remember I would wake up before school, I wake up at 6 a.m., I go to the sitting room and I'll do some push-ups and I'll do some crunches and all the bodyweight exercises. I used to use this app called Freeletics, you know, I would follow all the exercises they would do and I'll do this like 30 minutes before I would do my house shows and get ready for school. So yeah, I've always sort of, you know, kind of like fitness, but the gym, that was the main thing I wanted to get into. I loved the gym, I loved seeing all these bodybuilders and they looked so good and I just wanted to look like that. So I started following a lot of fitness influencers. I started watching YouTube like fitness tips and advice and trainings, how to do exercises and all of that. I was basically educating myself because for me safety is important. So I was educating myself so that I'll know what to do so that I don't injure myself unnecessarily and I could do this for a very very long time. So I really made sure that I was very educated on what I was about to do. But the thing is, at that time I was in school and I was broke. I didn't have money to pay for the gym. Um, I remember I used my savings to pay for the gym and I went to the gym for like three months and obviously my membership expired and I didn't have any more money to pay. So I had to quit the gym after three months. And this is what I looked after three months so yeah after three months of being in the gym basically i couldn't go so i lost everything but you know what it's, it was a good experience i loved it it was a really good experience so yeah now the day came in 2017 september i finally went to uni and guess what i got student finance that was very exciting mate i've never seen so much money in my life anyways so i used some of my student finance and i paid for yearly gym membership and this was one of the best investments i've made in my life you know till that time so i started going to the gym i remember my first day in the gym i injured myself because i went on the incline bench and as soon as i lifted the weight it fell on me because it was such a weird bench honestly i stopped doing the incline barbell bench for a very long time because of that injury i was basically traumatized but i didn't give up i kept training i kept working hard I kept pushing myself and I worked so hard and after about four months I started seeing um, some changes in my body you know I was getting toned I was getting a bit muscular um, and I was really loving it that kept pushing me that really inspired me to even keep pushing harder and also at this point I started to record my workouts and post it on Instagram to kind of document my journey and also to inspire others along the way and not gonna lie Posting these things on Instagram actually made me more accountable, which even kept me working hard even more. Throughout the journey, I've tried many, many things. I've tried many, many different splits. I've been on many different programs. I've tried many different kinds of workouts like CrossFit and others. And I basically, I'm just trying to enjoy the journey. So yeah, four years later, this is what I look like right now. And honestly, I am very proud of what I have achieved so far. Along the way, I learned many, many things. I learned many lessons. Obviously, it's only been four years. I still have a long, long way to go. But I'm still learning and have learned so many things along the line. And for me, the one thing that stood out is consistency. You have to be consistent with whatever you do. You know, I know people that go to the gym and then they quit and then they gain weight and then they go and 
man you just have to be consistent you have to keep doing the same thing over and over and over until you see results that is basically what consistency is about another thing you have to do is educate yourself these days we have youtube all you have to do is go online and search the things that you want to learn and there's so many many videos and ebooks and articles or whatever online that you can read and educate yourself because trust me educating yourself will save you time and will save you so many injuries but also i just want to point out that this is my four-year transformation there's been a lot of up and downs and honestly you could achieve even a better physique than this in four years honestly or you might not but the thing is don't forget genetics even when i was skinny four years ago i still had decent genetics okay my shoulders my body was a little bit toned all i had to do was put on some muscle so you have to put in mind that genetics play a big role in how your physique turns out so don't compare yourself to anyone just keep pushing and compare yourself to you be your own competition honestly anyways this is like a short video i wanted to do to um show my four-year journey and to inspire you and to tell you that you can actually do it as well if you're consistent and you put in the work i'll probably do another video about how to avoid saying mistakes and so you stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like share and subscribe peace out